Hey guys, it's Junie, and today we're going to be building a robot for under $30. Robot, 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 robot. And you can too! Challenge, 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 challenge. Okay, it looks like I covered everything. Well, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. A lot of people have been asking me, Junie, how can you afford to build all these robots? But here's the tricky part. Yeah, I actually can't. So in the past few years, I've been getting particularly creative with being particularly cheap. In addition to being aesthetically pleasing, dowel rods are actually very cheap. They're lightweight, modular, and all you really need to cut them is a pull saw. It's basically garage science. Do people still say that? No! The majority of my projects are made using the same few servo motors. And for those of you wondering, yeah. That's why they always shake. Over the past couple of months, I've certainly gotten very creative. Hair tie, cheap juice, popsicle sticks, garbage bags. I don't actually know what's going on here, but I know that something cheap happened. I digress. The first step to building a cheap robot is to think about this important question. What is a robot? And have I, this entire time, actually been making them? What entire time? Two years. According to the internet, a robot is a person who behaves in a mechanical or unemotional manner. <laughs> a robot is a machine that's capable of carrying out a complex series of charges. And in this case, I don't know what the word charges mean, but I do know that a series is more than one if you're being greedy, and more than two if you're being standard. So we're just gonna go with three. And as for complex, what's more complex than doing math homework? It's basically Einstein's candy. So today we're gonna be building a cheap robot that does your math homework for less than $30. Hey guys, I am Junie and I'm out here in the streets and we are looking for some cheap parts. Like the cheaper the better, that's my brand. Also, I can't afford it. Yeah, and that's cute and all, but it turns out things were not that easy. So first I went to Target. just to look around, find some kids' toys that I can take the motors out of. But in reality, kids' toys are actually really expensive. Sorry, Mom. So I decided to try the complete opposite end of the spectrum and go to the dollar store. You expected to find motors at the dollar store? Well, yeah. And I didn't. But I found these. Who can catch these hands? Apparently cats just see these and they go completely insane. For a dollar! Yeah, I know. But unfortunately, no motor. So then I got back into the trusty car and drove to Five Below, which is basically like a dollar store for trendy teenagers. And I can't believe it, they even had... This. I bought it. Which brings us back to here. So as you can see, I picked up these two $5 toys. So here we have a car and here we have a helicopter, drone thing. Yeah, I don't care. But regardless, both of these are perfect because they contain motors. Granted, these things actually work. Round two. So these two sent me back about $10. So that means we only have about, what, like 20, 20 left? How do we do that? So typically I use Arduino, which is a pretty nicely priced microcontroller for beginners. But in this case, I only have $20 left. And an Arduino cost me 22. And that doesn't even account for like batteries, breadboard. It's too expensive. So I got this. Bingo! So I got this Arduino knockoff, but considering what it can do for the price that it came at, it's more like a knock on, you know, like <laughs> knock on wood that this doesn't break my computer. Doing the blank example and... Oh my gosh! 
We're saved! So the next step is to figure out exactly what we're gonna be building. Homework robot. Oh yeah, we're doing that. So now we're gonna be disassembling these objects and figuring out what parts we have to work with. So I just took apart my two $5 toys and I discovered that they came with three mini DC motors, all pretty much the same brand. This robot is gonna consist of two different parts, the homework hand that's gonna hold the pencil to do your homework and the elbow-like hinge mechanism that moves the pencil up and down. To hold and move the pencil, we're gonna be using the existing head of the spin brush, while the car's wheels will act as a hinge to move the pencil up and down. All you have to do is attach a pencil to the brush head, put the robot in place, and boom! Everybody's getting ace! So here is normally where we would put a building montage, but considering that we just had a disassembly montage. The Juni Science team decided not to do one today. Instead, we're just gonna give you the highlight. XOXO creative team. I noticed that there was a lot of existing infrastructure that I want to keep for this robot. We all us, we all us, we all us, we all us. Brush, 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 brush. First thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make the brush head as light as possible. Weak, 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 cheap, cheap, cheap. Cost effective. After further inspection, I realized that both of the motors are working fine. But the thing that's having trouble is that the wheel motor isn't strong enough to lift up the brush head, which is what I was worried about before. Only now, it's actually happening. Don't panic, I can fix this! So the first way, in which is kind of a cheap way, is that instead of having the brush start in the down position, I can set it up so that it's starting at a 90 degree angle. So this way, it takes less force to push down the brush head. And yeah, this is a cheap fix, but so is this video. Now the next thing is an interactive experience. Basically, if you hold up the robot, then maybe gravity can help move the brush head. No, it does not. So now the third thing is the extreme solution. So then we're gonna take everything apart and then we're gonna attach the brush head to the wheel using string because we still have enough money in our budget for string. No, you don't. Okay, that's no problem. So basically, if you're wearing socks right now, a way to get free string is to just take your socks and just... And if you wanna hang out with me online, I have, I have all this. You know, I, I got all these. In this day and age, it's easy to forget who you are. But to me, patrons, you'll always be the star in the sky. Uh.